Okay, hello guys and welcome back to Chris Flies Planes. Chris here of course and today I'm excited that the Long Dark has finally launched. We are on version 1.05 following five patches after the launch to fix what I can only assume are bugs. But the exciting thing about it is it now comes with Wintermute, the uh, episodic story mode for the Long Dark. I believe there are two episodes already in the game, and I'm just going to jump in blind here. I don't know anything about it. I've done no reading. I just want to see what is going to be happening. So episode one, Do Not Go Gentle, is Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after their plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores the small town of Milton, where he begins to understand the scope of his quiet apocalypse. And then we have episode two, which requires us to complete episode one. So we're going to jump straight in here and get going. So I've been waiting a long time for this, guys. I've tried to do this video, well, this game, a couple of times on the channel. But honestly, I've just been waiting for the story mode to come out. So I'm super excited that it's finally arrived. I'm imagining we're going to have a little bit of a cutscene here, so... There's a beautiful skybox. Oh god. Oh, that looks bad. That is straight through his hand. Okay, we can look around. Here we can move right now. Oh, we need to pull this out of his hand. Oh god! Ah! Oh, that definitely didn't feel good. He seems to have a lot of movement in his fingers, given he's got a huge piece of metal through his hand. All right, here we go. The long dark. We have missions. Branch, don't worry about that for now. Just grab any sticks. Study your treatments and learn to triage. There are many ways to die in the wilderness. Medical treatments, man made or harvested from the natural world, will save your life. Use the status screen to check on your health. Apply treatment using the first aid radio menu. You can also use treatments from your pack menu. I certainly will do that. First of all, though, let's get out of the weather. So it looks like this is a scene of some sort of plane crash. Uh, cardboard box. I don't want to spend any time breaking anything down yet. Let's just try and get ourselves into some sort of shelter. Some firewood. Uh, Firewood. Fire provides heat, water, food, and protection. I know. Sorry if anyone heard that sneeze in the background there, guys. It was not anyone to do with me. Uh, we have a large skeleton in here. I'm not entirely sure what that is. And I mean, I feel like it's probably a better idea just to come and chill by this fire, no? Or is that fire just not creating heat? Fan fucking tastic. Okay, let's jump in here. Let's see if we can get a fire going ourselves. Uh, light sources, no. Campcraft, here we go. Start fire. Let's pop it over here, I guess. It's not my choice of placing it, but. Uh, right. So, in theory, the first things you do in survival is water, food, fire, and shelter. So, we've done that wrong already. Good sign. Come on, come on. But then it is minus twenty, so maybe fire is a good starting option. Oh, 
And I was always questioning how difficult it was to start a fire in the long dark without any sort of accelerant. And then when I went camping, I realised it's really fucking hard to start a fire without any sort of accelerant. Even if you have a lighter and everything, it's not as easy as it looks. Okay. We have heat. What is next? Let's pull up our status menu. Uh, we have blood loss from plane crash injuries and... Uh, I have quite a hand wound, obviously, right. So we need a bandage. Can we do that? Uh, no? Uh, can we... First aid. Bandage. Apply bandage to my left foot. Okay. Apparently that healed the blood loss, which kind of makes sense. It's a bandage. So did you say it's all you have in... What? Oh, okay. That was the end of that day, I guess. I guess we needn't have started the fire, but there we go. I still feel like we made a good decision. When you bring up the quick stats of a radial menu, you get a preview of how your current condition is, what well, information about how cold, tired, hungry, and thirsty you are. Okay, good. I know about that already. All right, let's grab some char... No, no charcoal? Fantastic. Uh, right. Let's take a look. So we've still got... A buggered hand. We're dehydrated and hungry. Have we got any clothes we can put on? I don't know what they did to the facial drawings on this, but he looks so much like a fucking terrifying clown. Uh, okay, so we need food and drink. Wait, do we actually check? We need food and drink. Right. I might be stuck, stuck here a while. while. You might be stuck here a while, buddy boy. And I wouldn't worry, actually, given my history of playing this game, you're not going to be stuck here very long, because you'll be dead. Right, it's got some cardboard boxes we can apparently harvest. Uh, just in case we need cardboard for some sort of arts and crafts. Crate for reclaimed woods, not too fast. Use print cloth. Okay, metal container. No one ever put anything shit in a metal container. MRE and matches. To be fair, it wasn't shit. My towel just fell off. Seeing as none of you guys knew there was a towel up, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what else have we got here? Some scattering of blood. Some antiseptics, more wood matches. Okay. Could have done with some food. Rose hips. I don't need these yet. Oh, okay. I don't really like being told that I don't need rose hips. What if I want some rose hips? Okay. That would be a cliff. Can't run, apparently. So it would appear they are cleverly using the terrain to hold me in this one place while they teach me how the game works. Um, okay. So, I guess... Let's relight the fire and melt some snow. I guess it's our only option at this point. Let's, uh, I can't use all the fuel. Can we harvest something? Let's have a look. There's a branch there. Can we get some sticks? Okay, that should probably be enough to get a fire going and melt some snow. I don't want to burn a book. We all know who burnt books before, and it didn't end up very well. Uh, right, let's see if we can get a percentage going any higher. Nope. All right, so 55% chance to start a fire with a book. Come on, buddy boy, you've got this. To be fair, he's managed it twice now. With 50% chance. So, screw you, percentages. All right, let's melt a little bit of snow. Looks like we can probably afford to, 
purify. The heat output of this fire is 6 degrees C. Um, I'm not so sure about that. Seems very odd. Okie dokie, let's have a drink. Oh, we got an MRE as well. We can have some food. Bloody fantastic. Alright, we are good to go now. I'm guessing this is going to be another cutscene. Infection risk. Let's bosh some antiseptic on our chest. Okay, that's the end of day two. Right, so let me have a guess here. They're gonna let us climb down now. We're all healed up. Oh, it looks bloody freezing today. Oh yeah, I'm here. Where's the journal? There we go. Day three. Build a fire in the cave that will last for night nine hours. Not a chance in hell. Unless somehow an axe has blown down somewhere. Yeah, calm down, bud. It's gonna be alright. Any axes blown down? Oh, there's some firewood blown down. I wish I hadn't used all that firewood on the first day now. I didn't realise this was some sort of weird challenge based situation. What do I get from the crate? Get some retained wood, I'll smash that up. I feel like sticks aren't really worth my time and energy. Right, um. That's some broken plane, that's probably not gonna help. Another crate. Some stuff in that broken crate, weirdly. I guess it's not that weird. Oh, there's books and that one. I didn't notice I was dropping stuff behind me when I broke the crates. It's good to know. We'll see you. Some birch bark. I don't know what you do with birch bark. Maybe some nice arts and crafts with the cardboard box. We'll see this cardboard box. Any more wooder boots? Or a hatchet would be handy. That. Lump of firewood. Another lump of firewood. Okay. Another lump of firewood. I think that's probably us pretty set for the night now. Great. Obviously, we'll have a hatchet in. Uh, oh, it's got accelerant. Even better. Well, not, maybe not even better. Okie kokie, I think we've got everything we need now. Let's get in here and get our fire relit. And let's hope that it'll last us for night. Chance of success, 100%. That's a good chance of success. Okay. Ten hours on the fire. Fantastic. What is next? Get your bloody temperature up bloody. Get your body temperature up. Warm yourself by the fire for a while. That sounds lovely. Let's play some... Uh, oh, God. I think we can... Uh, we just relax. Can we chill? No? Maybe... No? I guess I'll just sit here and wait. So... Uh, uh, how are you guys doing? Do you like things? Okay, there we go. Day three done, guys. So this is basically like a tutorial mode for the Long Dark. Which is kind of interesting, and also I have played this game quite a lot. So it's not violently interesting right now. What have we got today? Need to find some food. Explore the ravine. Right, let's... Get some water on the melt before we uh, lose the fire. Interesting sound, wasn't it? Sounded like he was having a wee toke.
Uh, your ears are your best survival tool. Um. Yeah. Pretty sure that's not true. Explore the ravine. Can we climb down now? Is that a thing we can do? So there's definitely no food about. Let's break down that crate quickly. And there's nothing in there. Fantastic. Right, can we get down into this ravine? I assume. Well, there's a hell of a storm, storm there. Blue bear tree, tree came over. What did he say? Blue that tree clean over. Which. I mean. Oh shit! I'm stuck on a wee ledge. I oh, know, sorry. Uh, <laughs> thought I'd already failed then on day three. Okay, we're good. We'll go over this tree. Uh, can't even hold forward straight. Um, right, what we got here? Rob Astrid. What have we got? Combination lock. Scene. Michael Kai is a creepy looking guy. Nice art style. Jack Rabbit Rabbit Mobile Mobile Transport, Transport. Gensby Gensby speaking. speaking. Well, 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 well slow, slow down. down. What are you talking, talking about? It's okay, it's okay, Morgan. Morgan. I've, I've got, got it from here. Hello, Will. What, what, what are you, what are you doing, doing here? here? She looks terrifying as well. It's been a while, been a while I know. Yeah, yeah. Years. Years. All sorts of ginger. I heard, heard from you since. I know. I know. I know. I know. And, and I, wouldn't I wouldn't be here, here if you weren't important. What brings, brings you? I mean, I mean are, you are you sane? <laughs> no, 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 not, not me. me. Well, she is ginger. Right, right. So, so you're, you're still, still a doctor. doctor. Yes, yes, I'm still, still a doctor. doctor. <laughs> well, I thought, thought that, that after. <laughs> Why, are Why are you here? This dialogue is horrendous. Need to help. There's, There's an isolated, isolated community in more than part of Great Bear. Bear. Somewhere, Somewhere is very, very sick. Great bear. There's nothing there, there anymore. anymore. Not, not since, since I know. I know. But, but I, I have, have to get, to get there. there. Still, Still trying, trying to save the world. world. Uh -huh. Somebody, Somebody has, has to. to. What's that? <laughs> Somebody has to. <laughs> Will. Will. I didn't come, come here to fight, fight a past. past. I need, I need a, pilot a pilot to take me somewhere remote. remote. You get your shit together, Will. Someone I can trust. Questions. Ask Astrid, are you in trouble? trouble? He's asked loads are you of questions. Or not. Or not. She's made a horrible decision. What's, What's in, in the case? case? See, there's that thing, thing about no questions, case. remember? What's, What's in, in the case? case? No, no questions. Look, look, the weather, the weather out there is bad. 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 But it's, but it's getting, getting worse. worse. You, you walk, walk in here, here after years. years. I could have been, been dead. You could have been. Then you, then you show, show up, up and you want me to just risk, risk my life flying through the, the middle, middle of the great, great northern north north nowhere to deliver you, you in some mystery metal cave, cave in some, some remote wilderness, wilderness outpost. outpost. All, All because, because you walked walk in here and asked me to. to. Sounds good, let's go. Astrid, Astrid. you can't remember. This, this isn't about that. I know, I know how hard it's been. No, you don't know, Casey. You don't know. Anything. You don't, you don't think, think I, I feel it too? Are you, you going to take, take me or not? not? <laughs> All right, wait, the worst it'll get. get. That escalated. I don't know how time this is. Wait. The worst the what will get. get. Why do Why I, do have, I a have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? weather? Because, because I'm, I'm not. not. This had better not be a bloody zombie storyline. 
Please, God, no. Throw your bags in the flame. I'll get started on free free flight. Better buckle up tight. This is going to be a rough ride. That's what she said. Hey, well, that was a nice little cutscene, wasn't it, guys? The dialogue definitely didn't feel forced in any way. Uh, right. I mean, it's like it's locked. It's only a three-digit combination. It could be... It's like 999 options. It's not really the end of the world. Why can we not search that backpack? Okay. Oh, there's a big chunk of deer there. Does anyone have a knife? Oh, that's a nice looking coat, isn't it, Will? Let's get that back on. There he is. Okay. It's frozen, but I still imagine it's warmer. I still don't need rose hips, apparently. Can I? Oh, God. Oh, he's using his hand metal to cut it. I mean, I don't really think anyone could say they're a man until they pull a scrap of metal out of the palm of their hand and use it to butcher a deer. I'm pretty sure that is, like, the definition of being a man. And he's got a beard, of course. Uh, updated journal knowledge. What does that mean? I know what knowledge means, but um, that's a Luke. Eat until I'm full. Well, I'd probably quite like to cook what I've just found. Let's head back over this wee tree. Shut up, Will. Well, can we just add fuel? Oh, we can just add fuel. Oh. But can we fill out? It's a few more hours. Let's get this deer cooked. Gamey venison. Well, that sounds bloody delicious. Uh, where did his gamey venison go? Which one's cooked? Not cooked. Not cooked. Cooked. Any of these cooked? That one's cooked. Okay. It's going to take a bloody lot of gamey venison to get this guy full. So it's going to take three quarters of a deer. Let's get that cooked. Uh, I know things go cool, so let's just eat it while it's hot, maybe? Cooked flesh from a deer, that's a good description. Uh, right. So far, he's eaten, what, a kilo and a half of deer? Drink. This guy's got quite the appetite. So that was three kilos of deer. That's how much food we've just eaten. See if you're strong enough to climb out of the ravine. Where would one do that? Is there a rope? Can't climb out there by the looks. Been up that wee tree. I'm just climb out the ravine, or up or down. Uh, oh wait. Wait, is that where we went? Oh yeah, that's where we went. Let's see if we're strong enough to climb out. I don't really see anywhere we can climb out. Can we maybe okay, climb. He's just eating three and a half kilos of deer, so Oh come on. I just told these guys you're a man, you just fell off a bloody boulder. Jerk off. Um oh now we can get the rose hips. Now he's sprained her ankle. 
Well, I think that was day three. Oh, we healed our sprained ankle already. Day five, was that day four? I'm confused. Right, let's have a look. Oh, good, bud. You're really going to fall off again. You unlock knowledge about people, places, things, and actions. There's other survivors we're going to meet. Ooh, that's exciting, isn't it? Your hands feel stronger now. It's time to climb up for the ravine. What I know, people. Basically, we know very little right now. Okay, time to go. Let's get the flock out of here. Let's pick up some sticks. We're good if we need to start a wee emergency fire. Which, knowing me, we probably will. Just wander over this very precariously balanced tree. Let's not run, actually, let's not waste our energy. I'm not in a rush, I'm sure you guys aren't either. I like the sad Russian music. I guess we're not going back down this way then. Oh. It's gonna be alright, buddy. I'd say you're in safe hands, but you most certainly are not. Can we get up there? I feel like that's the way I need to go. I feel like the way you step up things has been changed, and it doesn't it feel great. Is there another climb? Okay. A little bit more plain here. It was quite a large plane then, eh? Eh? I'm starting to catch Canadian already. Oh. There it is. One more cutscene, guys, and I think we'll call it quits for today. See, he does fly planes. It does make sense for the channel. You've moved on, you're still wearing the ring, love. Say if I could just hang out in my dad's old plane and drink in the daytime, I'd be up for that. Uh, the old dead son trope, eh?
Uh, yeah, the Aurora Borealis is certainly on. It indeed. You're not going to call out Mayday, bud. Okay, guys, that is us done for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys very soon for episode two of The Long Dark. Winter Mute Story Mode. Thank you for watching.